Well, 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 the rumors were true. The Persona 3 remake, shown in the Sega's leak earlier in the year, looks to be legit. Persona 3 Reloads trailer leaked early alongside Persona 5 Tactica. Just briefly, Persona 5 Tactica looks to be a cutesy tactical turn-based game similar to Mario and Rabbits or XCOM, which should be a little interesting side adventure to tackle this year later in November. However, the real meat of the reveals is Persona 3 is getting a full remake known as Persona 3 Reload. We're going to break down the trailer and see what it has to offer. The opening shot leads with Aegis's first encounter in Okinawa as she looks out to the sea and turns to the camera. Comparing this model to the ones found in Dancing in Moonlight, it does look like they've been completely remade, but it wouldn't surprise me if you see the outfits turn up in some sort of DLC. The next shot is of the protagonist Makoto, or Minato, running through the halls of Gekukan High School on the first playable day. Throughout this breakdown, I will be referring to the protagonist as Makoto, just so you're aware. In the early glimpses of gameplay, it looks like they've remade the school one-to-one, -one, but allowed all areas of free flow without loading screens, similar to Persona 5. The UI looks to have been freshly updated to modernize the game, and during the trailer, a new song from Lotus Juice is playing in the background, which could also be the new opening theme for the game, or potentially just a battle theme. Next is a classroom shot where we can confirm that the Hermit Arcana, Miss Toriyumi, returns as the homeroom teacher. This also showcases new portraits, which we received of Toriyumi and Junpei. Citizens around Makoto seem to have similar appearances to Persona 5, where the unimportant characters have no facial features. Next, we get to see Yukari's updated portrait, along with what looks to be a new social event between Makoto and Yukari cooking. It's also worth noting that Makoto looks to have casual clothes on rather than his school uniform, and this looks to be a new outfit comparing it to all his other known outfits. Yukari is also sporting a new outfit, which is similar to her summer outfit, but she seems to be wearing a long sleeve top instead. Afterwards, we're treated to a shot of Polonia Mall, which seems to have the biggest overhaul. This area looks to have full camera movement and containing all the important locations from the previous game. It would also indicate that there's a good chance that other locations would have full camera movement. In our next shot, we can see Keiji, the magician arcana, seems to be making a return with the first meeting or rank of the social link. Right after, Makoto visits the police station with Officer Kurosawa, who acts as your weapon shop to help you fight shadows during the dark hour, similar to EY in Persona 5. Following this, we're shown one of the very first cutscenes which introduces the player to the dark hour, where Yukari and Makoto are trapped on the roof of the dorm while trying to escape the shadows attacking. This is also where Makoto awakens to his Persona for the first time. Next, we are shown some gameplay of Tartarus, where it's unclear to see if the tower will keep its randomly generated rooms for the dungeon. However, it does look like one feature that plagued Persona 3 players has been removed, the fatigue feature. This would actually impact your characters on how they would perform, and whether they would be up for visiting Tartarus. Many players dislike this feature as it would result in scenarios where your characters would underperform or be missing when they're most required. It is unclear to see if this feature is present outside of exploring, which may actually affect which party members are selectable for that day. Next was a heavily desired feature from the original Persona 3, controllable party members. This was present in Persona 3 Portable, but not in the original and FES. We also see a glimpse of the new battle UI, which seems to be stylized from Persona, but it's more tame and sleek. Straight after this, we get a look at Makoto's critical animation when he's attacking an enemy where he seems to damage the enemy twice. It's also possible to consider that the elements of Slash, Pierce, and Bash are returning, as the fact that guns are likely removed. Afterwards, we're treated to an absolutely beautiful menu screen, which is similar to Persona 5's menu, with the main notable difference that social links are back in place of confidants. Igor and Elizabeth return to assist Makoto in the Velvet Room, along with the updated fusion animations. Next, we see Makoto awakening to Orpheus for the first time during the Dark Hour, as the trailer closes out with the title Persona 3 Reload, coming early 2024. Generally, I was pretty skeptical of when the rumors of Persona 3 Remake were making the rounds, and the only thing that was giving these rumors some foundation was the registration of the P3R website and leaked footage of Yukari from the Sega demo. With this trailer giving more context, I think the game looks great and a huge graphical update to the original FES version. I do think it's actually worth noting that we didn't see any other party members aside from Makoto, Yukari, Junpei, and Igus, but I'm certain all of the cast will return. The one point I am concerned about is that this might be a pure male protagonist story. Persona 3 Portable has the optional female route, which I think it would be criminal to not have as an option, as I get the feeling that Atlas will just point players towards the ported P3P. But if this isn't an option, I'd still actually like to see new social links for Junpei, Akihiko, Ken, and Shinjiro, 
as these party members never have any interaction outside of cutscenes. Let's just hope that the female protagonist isn't tied to some scummy DLC practice. Regardless, the good news about this is that the trailer is in English, so this would actually lead me to believe that the game will drop worldwide on the same day, or if not, within the same time period. As this is an Xbox Showcase trailer, it's available on Xbox platforms and Windows PC. There's no mention of Steam, but I think it's very likely it'll release on Steam the same day it drops on the Windows Store version. Naturally, I'd also assume that this game will come to PlayStation and Switch. I personally would have liked to see a Persona 1 and 2 remake, but this remake has actually got me hyped up to play Persona 3 again. Furthermore, on an unrelated note, with the Sega leak being all but confirmed, I am super keen to see what the new Jet Set Radio has to offer when it's announced. Thanks for joining me on this breakdown. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like or leave a comment on anything I might have missed. It was Dwayne here from Dewey HQ. I'll see you in the next video.